Hello, my friends, Andrew here once again. And in this video, we're going to show you how to set up your tag. So we have two different types of tags, we're going to be set up in this video. Uh, one is the global tags. And then the other one is the tag segment itself. So this sp tag specifically, each of them are very easy to set up. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our introduction tag for our global segments. And then we'll just set up a basic tag for our tag specific segment. Of course, those are going to be a little bit more related to the audience that you would be going after with that specific segment. So first things first, uh, we got to go up here to our application, as you can see. And inside the application, we're going to choose our global segments. Now here you can see that we have intro questions and intro one. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add a new and I'm going to title it in this particular case, we'll go intro demo. And then here's where we add our variations of our, uh, our segment. So in this particular case, I'm just going to put hi. And then what I want to do is I want to use this variable and add a variable. And this particular case is going to be name. So this is going to say hi, and then it's going to pull their name from Facebook. And then it's going to go to the next phase of the section. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little plus, And then we're going to add another one. Hello. And then we can throw our variable in there as well. And click add. Okay, whoops. Uh, let me go back in here to intro demo, which is this one right here. I did not add that one. I'm going to go hello. And we're going to click our name variable just like so. And then we're going to click add. And then we can say hey, with our name variable as well, and click add. Now these ones right here. Um, what I also like to do is just like to add as, as many as possible for the intro tag. Uh, so we're going to do howdy name, and then we can even use emojis here, right? So if we go here to emojis, uh, we can grab that cowboy emoji. So it says howdy name with a cowboy emoji, uh, just for some fun there. We can go ahead and say that you can see that now I have four variations. And like we said earlier, what the software will do is it will rotate in between all of these different variations that you have created, then that will create some unique messages. So we'll go ahead and click save on that one. And you can see here that we have our intro demo tag right there. And the next tag that we will be working on our segment, sorry, that we'll be working on is a tag specific segment here. Now these ones are specifically related to the unique tag that we are going to be doing. So for example, uh, the cold lead right here, which is going to be actually our default message, this one right here, we can go into message segments, and we go in here, and you'll see that we have interest interest, we have three different variations of our uh, interest um, message. So here you can see we're interested both interested in blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly, I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste that in, and then interested in affiliate marketing. Okay, just like that. And we'll click the plus there. And then right here, you can see that we are both interested in if you just hover over this and let your, your mouse sit still for a little bit. Uh, what it'll end up doing is it'll show you what is actually in that particular uh, message. So I'm going to delete that because that actually has a uh, underscore in it. If you get any, um, any import, any frameworks imported into your L Messenger Pro with uh, with blank spots, you'll just need to underscore it just like that. So we can go ahead and, and copy this one as well. So we'll just copy this so we can add uh, you and I are both interested in aff affiliate marketing. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and click the plus on that one. And then we'll hover over this one should be the last one that uh, Oops, I got to get rid of that one. Uh, I'm this one right here should be the last one. Yep, I'm interested in affiliate marketing. So just go ahead and copy this one. And we're going to paste that into the variant. I'm interested in affiliate marketing, just like you. Okay. And then we will add that just like that. And then We'll make sure it's this one. I think it's this one. So we're going to hover over that. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So you can see that we have three variations of that as well here in the tag itself. So now all of those variations are actually going to show up uh, inside of that specific tag. Anytime we're using the cold lead uh, with our outreach, for example, if I were to go into here and I were to use a message template, okay. Uh, you'll see that we have our intro and our interest right here with the radio button checked. That's going to use this as our outreach tag. So this particular tag, when we are messaging people on Facebook automatically with the software is going to pull in um, hey, hello, howdy. And then it looks like you're both, we were both interested in affiliate marketing. So that's how that works. Really simple stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, and or concerns about the global segments and creating a global segment, please feel free to reach out to support. That's elmlink.co slash support. And I'll see you in the next video.